Janet from the Susanna Wesley School in Kamenchak, Guatemala. Greetings. We're here with some of my friends, Saidi. Hola. Luisa. Hola. Edgar Tomas. Hola. And Reina. Hola. We have had over a hundred children just like these four children who have passed through our school here in Kamencha, Guatemala. It has been a great blessing for all of them. And I feel so lucky every day to get to come to work and work with these precious children. We began the school in 2009 with one classroom of preschool students as a part of the Saluti Paz project. The founder of the project, Phil Plonk, and his supporters felt that if they were going to truly change the lives of the people in the village of Kamancha, the way to do that was through education. And educational research supports early education as the best way to make a difference in the lives of children. There were three main reasons to start the school. To provide a basic foundation for learning, to make sure that children spoke Spanish well, and to improve the health and nutrition of children in the area. I am the volunteer school director. In addition to myself, we have two other volunteers working at the school, one of which is a communication liaison in addition to many other important tasks. The other is a nurse that works with the school and the clinic. We now have three classrooms and about 50 children ages five to eight. We have a preschool classroom, a kindergarten, and a first grade. So our children have the opportunity to attend our school for three years. All of our teachers speak both Quiche and Spanish. We have a school cook and she has two helpers from the Amigas project. We have an excellent PE teacher that comes twice a week to teach physical education, which the children dearly love. This year we added a part-time school social worker to help us with many of the problems that we encounter in families. Our health program for the students is extensive. All the children receive school physicals and eye screenings and if needed an, a complete examination and their first pair of glasses. The average number of cavities for newly enrolled students is 15. Our school year begins in January and ends in October, which is very different than in North America. But children here attend school about the same number of days that they do in the United States. The children arrive at school at 7.30 in the morning and start their school day with breakfast. Our school provides 75% of a child's daily nutrients. Learning how to brush their teeth and other healthy habits are as important as learning their colors and their numbers, so we practice those things every day. Following circle time, the children begin working on academic skills such as Spanish or math, using art projects or active games and manipulatives. Just before recess, the children receive a healthy snack that's usually fruit with a beverage such as Incaparina, which is a vitamin fortified drink. After recess, the children return to the classroom for story time, always a favorite activity and an important part of learning to read. The day comes to a close with lunch, and after lunch all children receive a vitamin before brushing their teeth once again. In keeping with the Saluti Paz philosophy of partnering with people, we ask each family for a small amount of money every month toward the cost of schooling. However, if they cannot afford it, a family member comes to help clean the classroom once a month instead of paying tuition. However, the major source of funding for the school is through donations from North America. The school and the clinic are projects of the United Methodist Church, which allows many people to demonstrate their love of Christ by helping others. This is a place where lives are changed and dreams of a brighter future begin.